Where are the top places for aspiring board directors to network in order to uncover board directorships and opportunities when you're starting out in your board career? Now, this is the, the sad reality. If you're not prepared to network, you're really going to struggle to secure board roles. Applying for a role that you see advertised on a, on a job board is just not going to work. You really have to forge meaningful relationships with board directors. But that's not easy. When you're a senior executive, you're not necessarily rubbing shoulders with chairmen and non-executive directors and the most senior people, the captains of industry. You don't necessarily rub shoulders with them at the local cafe or at a local uh, business function. So where should you be networking if you are an aspiring board director? The first port of call are what I call um, advisory firms. So um, professional accounting firms, professional, uh, you know, boutique advisory firms, uh, anything to do with the law or accounting or business advice, mergers, acquisitions, all of that kind of activity, you will often find good quality opportunities to network with very, very senior individuals. So I look at, you know, your big four, for example, you know, corporate functions that they may host. Um, I look at uh, networking events that are hosted by law firms. Uh, and these invites come into my inbox and I uh, solicit them. And then I obviously leverage my network in accounting and legal firms, because that is a really good source of opportunity for me to connect to chairmen and board directors and you'll often see them at the functions at the boardroom round tables um, you know specialist advice is where you'll often see these these opportunities to connect with really senior individuals so that would be one port of call I'd also be trying to tap into uh, the private equity uh, sort of channel so you in Australia you have the Australian uh, Investment Council you have which is to be called AVCAL, um, you know, they run a host of events um, for the private equity community. So you want to try and tap into where are the deals happening in the market, who's raising the capital, who's doing the mergers, the acquisitions, who's targeting those large uh, corporate buyouts, management buyouts and things like that. That's often where the private equity firms sit. So again, that will bring you into contact with very, very senior business executives who are involved in that deal making if you like so I, I would tap into those networks um, I'd have a good close look at the startup incubator communities because they're uh, raising capital for high potential companies so again I see a lot of pitch events. I see a lot of uh, groups that are hosting uh, networking functions. So, you know, they're, they're all across every city in Australia. So there are incubators, accelerator groups uh, where smaller companies come together to uh, try and grow, accelerate their businesses. And so they're very, very helpful for networking and, and again, connecting to uh, private equity channels, maybe even family office money and so on. Um, you also then just want to kind of have a broad brush approach from there and look at private clubs. Private clubs can still be very relevant in today's modern context and um, there are no real um, gender barriers in a number of these clubs although in some clubs there still are so uh, you need to sort of look for opportunities to connect I'm a member of a number of private clubs so private golfing clubs private business networking clubs often you have to be nominated to get into these uh, circuits uh, you have to be vouched for people need to uh, be you know really across you but it is a very very valuable connection once you're in these clubs and you know take full advantage of the events that they host and so on um, and then you kind of want to sort of take a you know again a bit of a broad brush approach to where your own networks sit I think heading into this year, one of the keys to your success would be having a really defined networking strategy. How are you going to meet with quality 
board directors, uh, chairmen, non-executive directors, advisory board members, how are you going to get into the networks that are going to bring you into contact so that you can forge relationships and build rapport, uh, share your thought leadership and so on. So you really want to have a good close look at events, event calendars, have a look at our website. We promote a number of events that are being hosted every month uh, through our business partners and our colleagues who are, are running you know, events. And then in addition to the events themselves and the physical kind of connection, you need to sort of also have a reach out approach on, you know, places like LinkedIn and uh, an introduction approach, how you can be introduced to key people. So I think it's a really important uh, issue for aspiring board directors because you're going to have to learn and find simple ways to connect in a meaningful way. And you're going to have to be quite structured and diligent about it on a, on a monthly basis basis who are you connecting with this month think about what your plan is for February what are what are your connection points what events are you going to uh, and how are you going to forge those meaningful connections